Just uh, to start with the south, Volodymyr Zelensky confirmed eight villages or small towns were taken over by the Ukrainian armed forces just yesterday on Tuesday. And the total is 50 in the Kherson region since the counteroffensive started. So, yes, they're really gathering momentum. The Ukrainian military action is concentrated mostly at the moment in the north or northeastern part of Kherson region. All of it is on the right bank of the Dnieper River, which cuts across Kherson region. Kherson city is also situated on the right bank, but down in the southwest of the region. Ukrainian forces are advancing uh, in that direction from Mykolaiv as well, but much, much less rapidly. That's where the Russian defences, I think, are really the strongest, trying to protect the capital of Kherson region. But elsewhere in the region, they seem to be retreating quite quickly. Though, according to the uh, Ukrainian um, spokeswoman for the Southern Military Command, in a somewhat more orderly fashion than the sort of route that was seen in Kharkiv region, and that means that they're destroying bridges and pontoon bridges as they leave. There's a lot of small rivers, irrigation canals crossing Kherson region, and that may slow the Ukrainians' advances going forward as the Russians are trying to sort of put barriers um, in, in front of the Ukrainians. But the Russians face a very difficult choice because a large part of their forces are trapped on that right bank of the Dnieper River. How are they going to get back across it when the Ukrainians have destroyed the bridges and keep destroying their pontoon bridges? And then meanwhile, just briefly, the Ukrainian armed forces are also advancing towards the northeast, and they have retaken two settlements on the eastern side of the Oskil River in Kharkiv region. So basically cleaning up just the last remaining pockets of Kharkiv region where there are still some Russian occupying forces. That's France 24's Galuber Kraft.